What's up, hot boys, hot girls, and other hot nerds across the world? It's your boy, Reggie, a.k.a. Father of Shawnee MCs, the leader of the Weebs, and your residential senpai, Kawhi. Eat. <laughs> Y'all, chapter 181 of Can't Smell Your Average just came out yesterday. Also, shout out to my mommy. Her birthday was yesterday, November 1st. So, you know, shout out to all the Scorpios in your life. My best friend's birthday is also tomorrow. So, you know, I love y'all slash hate y'all. But yes, Muzon is so fucking disrespectful. And before we even get into all that, let's just cue my intro. Alright you guys, so let's just get straight into it. So, last week, we saw Muzon arrive from the dead, or arrive from the brink of death, rather, bitch. And he has popped out of his flesh cocoon, like I said, with this oh so lovely, symbiotic, venom-esque looking new form girl. And he is out for blood, declaring that he about to end the girls tonight. Cut to the opening at the beginning of the chapter, and we see freaking Kiria is just gagged. He is like, oh my god. Oh my god. I was too late. I couldn't do it. Like, oh my god, thanks to me. Like, I made the wrong call. Everybody fucking dead. Like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? Everybody is getting slaughtered. Everything that everybody has worked up until this point is gonna all be for nothing because of me and I just can't do it. Oh my god. And bitch, like the good little sister that she is, I believe it was Kanata, she got her ass up so fast and stand what you <laughs> fucking kidding that's just like <gasps> like girl did he just did she just and she got his ass together already like no no it's not the time this is not the time for you to be freaking the fuck out get your ass up you must be strong hurry up and get the next order and this makes like kitty is like you know what bitch <sighs> my bad sister i apologize and that's why I am the master now. You know what I'm saying? Father, grandfather, and everybody else. They were all through the same pressure, bitch, and they didn't goddamn pimp out. They ain't got them, they didn't whistle out like no bitches, goddamn. I gotta I gotta do this shit. You were right, thank you. And immediately he just goes right into his shit, right into his duty. It's like, okay, continue to close in on music, bitch. Crows, we need eyes in the skies, girl. Get everybody out there. Y'all, music is out here slaying us for fucking blood, bitch. This nigga can reach you from across the room, so don't get too close. I need all the Hashira to gather in one spot right now. I repeat, I need all the Hashira to report in one spot right now. And he just goes, okay. Kanata, Kuina, thank you, girl, so much. And she... You welcome, brother. You welcome, brother. You welcome. Head to the crows. Everybody getting out of tea. Girl, we gotta gather girls. Hashida, girl, get it together. I need all of y'all. Music is out and about, girl. He is not playing with us no more. This nigga has returned. He is killing us. We need all you niggas to report ASAP. So, bitch. So, Misery is like, bitch, what? We, he back? Girl, what you mean he back? We been over here fucking with this goddamn b play the whole time, bitch. What the fuck? He back? Well, oh, my God. And mind you, Obina is still with her too, and he's like, damn. She has been fucking twirling our fucking heads, playing this fucking game of cat and mouse the whole time. If this bitch keep on playing with us, we're not gonna be able to join everybody, so we gotta do something fucking quick. And Mitsuri, she's just like, I mean, bitch, what, 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 what the fuck? We can't just leave this bitch here. What the fuck we gotta do? Like, I mean, yeah, we gotta go fight Muzan, but we also gotta get rid of this bitch. Like, we need to come up with a gay plan. And so while they're in the middle of fighting, this bitch is just like, and you know, apparently I'm guessing the floor drops from Beloved Mixery and she just is about to plummet, but somebody catches her ass and she's like, huh, who the fuck is this? And next thing you know, another katong, katong, katong. Bitch, Giyu and Tanjiro come face to face, girl. And just think back to that moment when Tanjiro saw Muzan in the streets. When I tell you on sight, on fucking sight. You didn't even see that shit at first, but like immediately you see the sun mark come from the fucking bandage and Tanjiro is ready to fucking slay the girls. 
he is like, he sees the flashbacks of his friends, his family, everybody that's ever had to die because of the demons that news on has put out in the world. That shit comes flashing back to him and he is ready to fucking go in. But like the smart senpai that he is, he like, girl, hold it back. Just calm down, sis. I know, I know you're feeling yourself. You got this sun breathing shit going down. You got the mark. Everybody got their marks. I know you're feeling your oats, but I need you to calm down. Because, yes, we fight in the upper moons, bitch. But let's not forget that he just chopped two of our asses back there, bitch. This is not an upper moon. This is the nigga. This is the fucking demon of demons. This is father of the demons. This is not one to be played with. This is not one to take lightly, girl. This is where the ultimate read comes in. So mind you, last chapter, bitch, Musan is clearly one shady bitch. He is out here reading the girls to oblivion and he proceeds to find a new target, puts those glasses on girl. The library is about to be open. And he goes, and I quote, you're so persistent and I'm getting sick and tired of you all and I'm losing my patience. You're always yapping about avenging your siblings and your children and your parents. But bitch, so fucking what? Isn't, <laughs> isn't it enough that you're still alive? And bitch, when I tell you that Tanjiro and Giyu just right. gagged, they were like, did he just fucking, did he just goddamn, is this nigga serious? And then he keeps going. So what if I killed your loved ones? So what if I killed your loved ones? <laughs> Consider yourselves lucky and carry on with your lives. Like one thing I do appreciate about Luzon and villains like him, I just love when the villain knows that he's dead yet. He is not out here playing with y'all. Like yes, y'all getting up from new demons, but again, this is father. Y'all had a hard time with them demons over there. He knows he did shit and he like, I am absolute. My word is final. Don't fucking try me. Back to the read. <laughs> so Tanjiro was like, how can you, nigga, how can you say that? Are you serious? This, this is where it gets good. He said, think of it as if they simply met with disaster. Rain, wind, volcanoes, earthquakes. No matter how many people they kill, nobody seeks revenge against them. Besides, the dead will not return to life. So give up your grudges. Just make a living and pursue a quiet life. That's what normal people do. So why don't you? There's only one reason. Because demon slayers are abnormal. And I'm tired of dealing with you. I just want it to end. And girl, this is what I'm saying. This is exactly what I just said in my last video. Muzan over here reading my child and he fucking blinks. Like, it's like Mob Psycho 100%. He just goes, Muzan, I cannot allow you to exist anymore. Like, bitch, let's go. I don't even give a fuck. Like, it's time to fucking go. We about to scrap in this bitch because you ain't about to keep talking shit. Bitch, if I got read like that, I want to fight too. But girl, Muzan, Luzon, but he is so, who was like, bitch, like, why, like, why are y'all over here trying me like this? Like, bitch, hoes get electrocuted, hoes suffocate, hoes, earthquakes, road, wind, and fire, bitch, like, earth, wind, fire, all that shit happened to y'all. Y'all really want to fight like me. Full fucking wood. Just go to your fucking eyes and get the fuck out my face. And that's just also, Luzon is out here. First he was serving you smooth criminal girl. Then he's serving you memoirs of a geisha. Now he's just serving you demon daddy, like... This man is beautiful as fuck. Like, I need somebody to cosplay this because that this shit is beautiful. Like, I'm waiting. I cannot wait now to see the actual fight. I really hope all the Hashira make it. I really want if if they need and if they need to and if Nosuke isn't like too fucked up from their battle. I really want all the babies to come together and fight together with each other with the pillars. I just hope no one else dies. Oh my God, please, nobody else die. Like, don't even play with my emotions like that. I don't need anyone else to just know. Everybody get their tans, everybody get their life. So you guys, did you like this chapter? I did, I'm just like, we're building up. I'm just ready for the fight to continue. Tell me what you guys think down below and let me know if you guys want me to cover even more mangas. Again, I have been reading Chainsaw Man. That one is cute. This motherfucker would do anything just to touch a titty and I'm here for it. I really hope this does get an um, anime adaptation as well. Um, I've heard a lot about, what is it, Beastars. So I wanna start reading that. Give me some good manga recommendations because ever since I would be bored at work and I'd just be sitting there reading, like I just wanna read everything now. Everything good, anything new, old, just let me know. 
Let me know. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.